What's going on YouTube, Mixture Man here. So right now I'm going to be reacting to Dragons the Nine Realms Episode 4 and the episode is called Dragon Club. I'm going to assume that with based on the title Dragon Club that now maybe both that girl and the uh, kid, the other black kid they're going to get their dragons now. And I'm going to assume towards the end they're going to make their Dragon Club for um for them having their own dragons it's each of them and I hope we see more familiar dragons from the um from the uh previous movies and stuff like that because in the previous episode we did we did see a familiar dragon the smaller one I forgot what they were called the um that um that we saw a lot in the movies and the other series of Hunter and Dragon and it's an enjoyable series I'm looking forward to continuing this series is I'm only on episode four so all I have is left four five and six three more episodes I'm halfway through so anyways let's get to this episode I thought of this actually in my previous reaction video. Since her dragon has two heads, and she's going to be switching back and forth essentially for now, I wonder if there's going to be a second kid, like maybe a brother, sister, or cousin of hers, that might be with her and chop onto one of the dragon heads with her. Similar to Rough Nut, Tough Nut. We'll see. If that were to happen, I don't see it happening in this season. If they were to make a season two, I could see it happening in season two. That was the biggest one yet. Easily a seven or more. Come on. I'm still going to continue saying that I think it's a dragon. A giant dragon of some sort. Because... Are you alright? Because it gets bigger, as they are just as they just said. And... It just makes more sense. Tom, Alex, I I still haven't learned really what his name is, as well as the uh, her, the one in the purple. The way they, <laughs> the fact that they just crawled away that quick. Huh? What are you two doing? <laughs> oh, hey, D'Angelo. D'Angelo. We need a first aid kit. We found an injured lizard in one of the health. I used to have a friend named D'Angelo, so did? that'll be easy to remember. An injured lizard. Oh, I want to help too. Why didn't you ask Doctor D? Doctor D? Yeah, I spent my summers with my grandpa. He's a veterinarian. I picked up a few pets. Hey, a veterinarian. I'll come with you. I don't know if. I think that's a great idea. I originally wanted to be a veterinarian when I was a kid. Remember the secret. What secret? <laughs> Dragon Club. <laughs> Dragon Club. Ooh, that sounds cool. <laughs> he probably, he's, he, as of now, he's not thinking so, dragons. He's probably thinking it's just a club. Talk about Dragon Club. It's a secret. Can you keep a secret to Angela? First rule about Dragon Club, you don't talk about Dragon Club. Second rule about Dragon Club. You don't talk about Dragon Club. <laughs> He's funny, this kid. I like each and every kid for their own unique, um, unique characteristics. If I said that, if I used that correctly, uh, dragon. <laughs> yep, this is Thunder, and he's a dragon. Okay, that's blue. And red. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Poor kid. So glad we revealed the secret to him. He's been so helpful. Hmm. <laughs> no dream, pal. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, 
destruction of everything. <laughs> She could be good to have just in case any of the drones do catch one of you and or the dragons on the camera footage and she can hack it real quick and delete the footage. And there he goes again. Did he just pass out? Yes, he did. <laughs> The Wonder Twins. From both sides. Then, when we have it under control, we'll administer aid. <laughs> they don't like it. Oh. Those must be the bullies who beat her up in the first place. Hey! Stop that! Oh, he brave kid. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help him, please. Thank Good job, Thunder. Oh, there. I was just, I was just thinking. <laughs> Oops. Ow, yeah, that definitely hurt. Jimzilla. You two were great. Okay, I have to admit, you were right. You said it yourself. I'm the brain, that's or that's what he's gonna name her, Gemzilla. That would be cool. Welcome to Dragon Club. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Well, now I think Dianzo is my favorite. Give her a name. Plowhorn. Her name is Plowhorn. Plowhorn. Cool. I'm just happy D'Angelo got a chance to spend some time with you two. The mom's voice sounds familiar too. I still haven't looked up the cast of who voices both those characters. I gotta look it up right now. Did he just really tell them what just happened today? Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, that sounds okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's all fun and games until you get eaten. Okay, calm down, D'Angelo. <laughs> all right, I gotta hide and look it up yet, but that was a that was a good episode. Now D'Angelo has his dragon. All is left is for Alex to get her dragon, and I'm sure she, I, and I'm sure she'll get it in the next episode. And I'm gonna continue saying that um, I don't think these those earthquakes are earthquakes. I think they're they're being caused by a dragon or some sort. It's like a bigger dragon or just a dragon in general, big, small, whatever. And it's just it just makes more sense because it's. The quakes are happening in each and every episode. It seems like they're getting bigger each and every episode, as um, Tom and that girl are saying in this episode. In that pre in this episode, so it just makes more sense that it's going to be a dragon that um, is causing those quakes. So, anyways, that was my reaction to episode four of Dragons: The Nine Realms. If y'all could please do me a favor, please give this video a like and or subscribe to my channel, and I would really appreciate that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a good one.